keeping up with the motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Welcome students to the life cycle of animals part 2. First, we will take a quick recap of what we have learned in part 1. We saw that reproduction in animals take place in two ways. First, either by giving birth to young ones or second, by laying eggs. Then, we saw the life cycle of a hen. A hen first lays eggs. Then the hen sits on the eggs and warms it up. After a cycle of 21 days, a fully grown chicken breaks the egg shell and comes out. Today, we will see the life cycle of a butterfly. Butterfly feeds on the nectar of flowers. Have you all seen a caterpillar? You may have seen them. Now, do a caterpillar and a butterfly look similar to each other? No, not at all. A caterpillar and a butterfly look very different from each other. You will be surprised to know that a caterpillar is the baby form of a butterfly. Here, the young one and the adult look different from each other. When young one grows into an adult animal, that look very different from each other, this change of form is called metamorphosis. So, we can see metamorphosis in the life cycle of a butterfly. There are four stages in a life of a butterfly. Here we will see the life cycle of a plain tiger butterfly. First, the plain tiger butterfly sits on the milkweed or a rui plant's leaf. Children, you should note that different types of butterfly sits on different plant's leaves. After sitting on the leaves, the butterfly lays eggs on the leaves. This is the first stage of the life cycle of the butterfly. After 6 to 8 days, larva emerges from the egg. It is also called a caterpillar. This is the second stage of the life cycle. This caterpillar that emerges from the egg is very hungry. It nibbles the leaves and even eats away the eggshell from which it is born. This hungry caterpillar eats very rapidly and grows in size day by day. It grows so big that now it cannot fit into its old skin. So it develops a new skin and sheds away the old skin. This process of shedding the old skin is called molting. A caterpillar molts four times. Now comes the third stage and that is a pupa. After 10 to 12 days, the caterpillar weaves a button of silken thread and form a covering called chrysalis or pupa. In the chrysalis, growth of the butterfly takes place 
and after 11 to 12 days an adult emerges from the chrysalis and that is the fourth stage so in the fourth stage that is the adult stage a beautiful butterfly with four colorful wings and six long legs is formed this was about the life cycle of the plain tiger butterfly in the same way different types of butterflies go through the same life stages now let us see some interesting facts children you will be surprised to know that there are nearly 17000 different types of butterfly each type of butterfly have fixed plans on which the female will lay eggs the time of larva emerging from the eggs is also different for different butterflies for different butterflies their caterpillars are also different in size color and length the insects that you see in grains also have the same stages of growth that is egg larva pupa and adult their eggs are very very tiny now we will take a summary of what we have seen today we saw that the life cycle of a butterfly has four stages first stage is laying eggs after 6 to 8 days a larva or a caterpillar emerges from the egg the caterpillar eats very rapidly and molts skin four times after 10 to 12 days it forms a chrysalis or a pupa which is the third stage in 11 to 12 days a adult butterfly which grows inside the pupa emerges out this was the fourth stage of the life cycle of a butterfly we also learned many new words in this chapter let us discuss about them the first new word that we learned was hatch when a hen sits on eggs to warm them she is said to be hatching her eggs next word was molting to shed away old skin to make way for new growth is called molting then we also saw metamorphosis when the young one grows into a completely different adult animal this change in form is called metamorphosis children hope you all enjoyed watching this video we'll soon meet again till then keep learning new things every day thank you